So this video is going to be quite the story and it is about one of my Chanel bags. I got three bags of this brand and two of the three I've had a horrible experience with. It's been quite a roller coaster trying to repair those bags and the customer service that I get in contact with is also just not acceptable for the amount of money that you pay for this bag. After everything that I've been through, I'm not thinking of purchasing anything from that brand anytime soon. This is the last bag that I've purchased from them. I purchased it two years ago and the amount of time that I've worn this bag, I can count on my two hands. So not worth it a lot and I chose to talk about this bag in this video particularly because this color is definitely and obviously not a color you wear a lot. I only wear this to dinner, maybe brunches, spends more time on a table or on the back of my chair than me holding it or carrying it. it almost feels like I'm not holding a Chanel bag in my hand but a Primark bag. I really can genuinely say if I would have purchased this bag at Primark I would probably would have gotten a better experience with me trying to get the bag in for repair or refund or something than with this brand. This Chanel is trying to be the next Hermes and they're trying to make these classic bags basically out of reach. These bags are very hard to get your hands on. I wanted to complete my collection of this brand with a mini size in a very bright color so I was thinking of I either pink, pop of like blue or yellow. So I wanted three colors. I contacted a few essays in the country that I lived in, but I didn't have any luck. And I went to Paris on a city trip with my husband, got some contact information of the essays over there as well. So they could help me out or contact me if they would get this bag in either one of those colors. A few months passed, I was back in my country. And then one of the essays of one of the stores in Paris, she sent me a WhatsApp contacted me that this bag was in in this color and it's not this one she knew that I would be driving from my country to Paris to get the bag I tried to convince my husband to drive all the way to Paris for a bag which he just doesn't understand for him it was just us driving four or five hours for a stupid bag basically but I convinced him and we went on our road trip to Paris we went into that street Store. and it was very hard to kind of find that essay she wasn't responding to my messages anymore it took us 15 minutes being sent back and forth from that person to that person to finally being in contact with the right person so she took us to another place and she sat us down and she brought the bag to me and she obviously had seen that bag before. We were as customers seeing it for the first time but she didn't. So she kind of unwrapped it for us and she showed me the bag and she looked at it as well. She saw how it looked like and she told me like, oh, it's just perfect. Here is your bag. Immediately when I saw it, the bag was not, like the flap was just not right. And what I mean with not right, it's not like a little bit, like for example, even with this one, it's not completely aligned. It was very obvious. And for a bag that costs 3,000, 4,000 euros for a mini bag, not even the small size or the medium size, a mini bag, that is just not acceptable. The lining, the stitching, they were not aligned. I just saw it from her hands going to my hands and I was just shocked that she would even consider showing me that bag. I'm not even talking about her letting us drive five hours all the way from a different country to that store to be disappointed. And I was so concentrated on the stitching and how horrible the flap looked that I didn't notice that there was also a huge scratch like on the hardware. And I told her like, this is not okay. I mean, we drove all the way from our country to France and this is the back you show me. Is there another one? And then she was kind of stressed. So she called her manager. The manager came and she inspected the bag. And do you know what the manager told me? Instead of apologizing or doing something to make the situation feel a little bit better, she held the bag like this kind of in the light. And she told me, well, just a very mind, like if you do this, it's not that obvious. Look, 
I try to be very calm, but it gets harder and harder. So I really was trying to just stay calm and not burst out and be mad. And I told her like, look, I'm not going to spend that much money on a bag and then try to fix the flap every five minutes. When I was talking to the manager, like they already held the bag and saw it themselves. I noticed the scratch that was on the hardware. And I told her like, oh my God, there's a scratch. They kind of started talking in French to each other. And then the girl told me like, well, my manager told, tells me that this bag, it has a huge default and our store refuses to sell such a faulty bag to you. And we really apologize. And that's it. There was no apology, basically. It was more like, well, we're sorry, that's it. But it wasn't a sincere apology. Like, I'm sorry, I had you drive all the way and let's fix this and we can find something. But it was more like, when are you going to leave the store and leave me alone because I want to help other customers? That was the vibe that I was getting. And I was just standing there. You made me drive five hours all the way from a different country to your store because I want this bag so much. And there's a huge scratch on the hardware and this is not aligned. I'm not even going to talk on the other faults it might have had because I didn't even bother to inspect it. But is that really the service that Chanel gives their customers? I really wanted to buy the bag and you're not even coming with a proper solution to the problem. You're just going to look at me and wait for me to leave the store with my husband and pretend nothing happened. There wasn't anything that they could do or wanted to do basically. And I was just left there. I don't define brands by just one experience, but it has been from my other bags as well. It has just been such a roller coaster that it really has come up until the point that I'm just like, are you serious? This is not okay for a luxury brand and this is not even a low price point luxury brand. We're talking about a very high price point here. But again, I waited and then six months later in my country, they finally had this bag because when I saw the color in person, I didn't want the other colors anymore. I really wanted this color. When you are not on the priority list, you're kind of just like, when no one else wants it, then you might have a chance on getting this bag. So that is my only luck because it's one of those colors that not everyone wants. What happens in Chanel is when they have a certain bag, they have like the priority customers that spend a lot of money with them, that have a huge purchase history and those people are always on their priority list. So she called me in and I kind of inspected the bag and I decided to purchase it because I really wanted it. And then, this is a color, like I said, that you don't wear that much. It's like a very bright fuchsia pink color. I have only worn it two, three times when I noticed very bad color transfer. From a jeans, I was wearing jeans and I wore this on top and it was just horrible. It was all dark black, like a black blue color. Maybe it's not Chanel's fault, maybe it's mine because I need to know that with this type of leather you need to be very careful, it's lambskin. They make you feel like you're bothering them, like we have customers to help and we don't want to help you, please go away. That is basically what they tell you without actually saying it in those words, but the way they look at you and the way they behave that is basically what they say and she just showed me like a picture on her phone of a product that really helps to get rid of it but she wasn't nice well i have a product and it helps just buy this you can take a picture of this if you want i have other customers to help so if, is there anything else i can help you with because i really need to it was very rude it wasn't nice she didn't even give me time to respond because maybe i had some other issues it was very rushed that is really the word that i was looking for rushed in chanel it's very rushed and we don't have time for you that is basically how they treat you i got the product that she recommended didn't work i got some other friends who also have some color transfers and they recommend stuff that I did and it helps to get rid of the huge dark blue stain that I had on the back of this bag. It's still not completely gone but it is gone for I feel like 90% so I'm okay with it. And then one time I think it was maybe six or seven time that I've used it I went to dinner, it was just on the table with me, next to me, and I wanted to get my wallet out. So I opened the bag, and when I took out my wallet, I noticed so this little compartment, all the stitching right here, so from this compartment, it was 
all getting loose because of some loose thread and you could see on the leather here on the inside where it was stitched so it looked horrible that is not okay for a 3000 4000 euro bag so i went into chanel again i told them this is what happened and again, instead of apologizing, being sincere about it, they tried to blame it on me. The way they talked to me, well, and this is a small compartment, you cannot just put in heavy items in here. This is just for receipts or maybe cash. You cannot put your wallet or your phone in here. This is definitely, this just doesn't get loose, but we are very sorry that this happened to you. I felt like I was almost begging them to please repair my bag. So again, Again, I sent it in for repair and it took them four months to repair the bag and when I got the bag back well, they told me like your bag is repaired please come and get it okay maybe the people that repaired it somehow didn't notice it I don't know how that happens but how come that even you when it comes to the store didn't you notice it so I went into the store inspected it and I noticed that the stitching they did, so, so this part came loose, this entire small compartment, and the stitching goes right up till here. So this is how the stitching is. It's very difficult for me to show you. So the stitching is right up to here, but they stitched until here, into the zipper almost. And I showed the people that work there like, hey, this is not okay. The stitching went all up to here. The stitching needs to stop here and it's just stitched into my zipper. And she told me, oh yes, I see it, but it's not okay. It's all fixed right now. When you close the back, no one will notice it. That is really what she told me. And I looked at her and I said, well, no one will notice it. Yes, when it's closed, but when you open it, it's very visible. For a 3,000, 4,000 bag, that's not okay. What if I want to sell this? People that look at the bag will probably think it's a fake because the stitching is not what a normal Chanel bag looks like. If you want to sell a bag, it's a lot of money. People will inspect the stitching, your numbers and everything. And if the stitching is supposed to be up to here and it's almost stitched into the zipper, that isn't what a real Chanel bag would look like, right? I told them like if I would have bought this bag at Primark, they would have probably even been nicer to me than you are. They would maybe offer the refund or offer to get another bag, something. A lot of time, a lot of energy and another three, four months passed. So I wasn't able to use this bag for more than half a year. When I finally got it, it was repaired. I don't know how they did it. Maybe they replaced the hole inside. I don't know because right now I don't see anything of the fault they made. But now we come to the quality part. This bag, like I said, two years old, have used it for only nine, eight, I don't know, that much time. Haven't spent a lot of time carrying this bag, mostly on tables when I'm having dinner or brunches. And for this price and for the amount of time that I've carried it, how it looks like right now, it's not okay. It's starting to scratch off the silver, it's just rusting, basically. Can you see that? I have a lot of scratches as well, like small scratches, but here, this is very visible. If I would go to, in Turkey or China, I would go to like a high quality place where they make replicas that are like of AAA quality. I really think that they would be able to pull off making this bag in a way better quality than this one is. And then the real one would look fake and the fake one would look real. A lot of mini scratches. I don't know if the scratches will be picked up by the camera a lot of scratch and I have a huge scratch I don't even know how that happened right here color transfer is not completely gone and then also the straps the sides of the straps like the side of the leather that's inside the hardware also starts to look very worn out I don't know how that happens almost like I've been using it for a very long time. Like the sides of the leather in this strap looks very worn out. This side of the leather is just poking out. Even if I just put it like this, it doesn't look 
straight. Once I took a picture with this bag, I got a comment once when I held this bag next to my body. They kind of told me that it's obvious that you photoshopped your body and made it look smaller because your bag is like going this way and it's not straight. Some of my Primark bags, I have a few Primark bags like weekend bags and they also have a little bit of hardware. They haven't gone rusting and I've used those weekend bags like they're huge bags that I use when I go on vacation or when I go to someone else's house and spend like the weekend they're very cute and their hardware hasn't gone rusting and this one does okay I'm not even done yet okay we're just getting started here because of this part this it kind of pulls up to be able to fit in here right here it starts to get very wrinkly and you have a huge mark this part is very tight because here it's loose and here it gets pulled up for it to fit into each other it looks so worn out this bag it really looks like it really looks like i've worn this so much and i'm scared what will happen if what what this bag will look like in 10 years the quality of the leather is not okay the quality of the straps is not okay the quality of the hardware is not okay the shape is not okay it's not holding well also but that is very hard for the camera to pick up. There's a lot of fluffy little hairs coming loose from the thread and it's all over the bag. So when you look at the bag, it looks like you have dust on it, but it's just a thread that starts to look very hairy. I have another bag that is the small size in caviar black leather and that inside was falling apart, like completely the mini. The leather is not hold by two stitches. That is still a little bit more durable, but the small size that I have was just falling apart completely and I had to send that in two for repair. I've never sent any bags in for repair, only the Chanel ones. Every bag of mine from this brand has been sent in for repair. Here as well, this, because you open it like this, has also a lot of marks and I haven't even opened and closed it a lot. Here. This one is already, this square is already finished and then they have like a little piece over here. Again, here as well, it's just not aligned, okay? And this is not a faulty bag. Imagine how the faulty bag would look like. So overall, I'm kind of done with this brand. Most of us, we don't have money to spend left and right. Most people that own bags from this brand, like me, they save up, whether it is years, whether it is months, a huge chunk of their salary to buy their dream bag. People that have a lot of money to spend, for them it's just like, wow, I don't mind. This is a nice bag, it's leather. But for people like us who really save up, to buy this kind of bag that we intend on using for years and years to come and maybe pass on to our children. This amount of problems that you get when it comes to quality, when it comes to customer service, when it comes to repair, it's just unacceptable. So that will be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will be seeing you in my next video. Bye!